In this video, we're going to look at melanoma. This is an overview of melanoma, an introduction. Melanoma is cancer of the skin. Melanoma has the highest mortality rate of all dermatological cancers. Melanoma is also one of the most common cancers in young adults. So what are some risk factors for developing melanoma? Well, some common risk factors include having a family history of melanoma, having a personal history, having light hair color, light eye color, having a high freckle density, being immunosuppressed either because of the use of drugs or having a particular disease, and having multiple melanocytic nevi, essentially multiple moles. So how does melanoma look like? Well, melanoma looks different in each individual. So let's zoom into this person's face. And here is a cross-section of a skin with melanoma. Let us compare this to a normal skin cross-section. The top layer of our skin is known as the epidermis. Below the epidermis is a layer called the dermis. Below the dermis is another layer known as the hypodermis, which contains subcutaneous fat which is important for thermoregulation. As I mentioned, melanoma is different in each individual. However, melanoma is usually always pigmented. It's a pigmented lesion, it's often asymmetric, it has ill-defined borders, and melanoma often bleeds and or ulcerates. So how does melanoma develop? Well, let us zoom into the epidermal layer of the normal skin and compare it to the epidermal layer of a skin with melanoma. We are now looking at the pathology of melanoma. So here are some cells that make up the epidermis. Here again is our epidermal layer, and below the epidermis is our dermis. In between the epidermis and the dermis is our basement membrane. Essentially, this is what separates the epidermis to the dermis. Just above the basement membrane, we have a special cell of the skin known as melanocyte. Melanocytes are important for us because they help protect us from UV radiation and they help in our skin pigmentation. In melanoma, what happens is we have proliferating melanocytes. So these melanocytes that are normally harmless become mutated and they grow and divide rapidly, resulting in melanoma. These risk factors can lead to this, these proliferating melanocytes. When going to a doctor and is suspected of having melanoma, it is important to examine the skin lesion. A good way to examine the skin lesion is to follow the A, B, C, D, E rule. So in A, we look for asymmetry. In B, we look for ill-defined borders. In C, we look for any color changes or even bleeding. In D, we check for the diameter and possibly the depth. And E, possibly the most important, is we look at elevation and in particular evolution. So if the skin lesion changes quickly or rapidly in a short duration, melanoma is suspected. There are ways to prevent melanoma. These include wearing a hat, using sunscreen, wearing long sleeved shirts, protective clothing, especially if you work outside a lot, wearing sunglasses, and also if you have a family or personal history of melanoma, having regular doctor skin checks or even self skin checks. So that was an overview of melanoma. Thank you for watching.